Where's Miara going? Come on. There we go. All right. Mm-hmm. Close that. How to get super fast Wi Fi anywhere, anytime in six seconds? Internet providers don't. Oh, Hello, wrong. everyone. Today we have new video review. What's going wrong? Um, and as you can see, no. it's a nice view, we go. There we go. A bit of a delay. Uh, mute. That's it. So now. Are you right, Gordon? I didn't think anyone would be about, so I didn't bother putting a hangout up. Yeah, yeah, it's completely plastic. Um, I've been yeah buffing it up all night to uh, so I am literally just building, I'm not um doing anything else. I think sometimes in these um podcasts and that some of the sometimes people just want to see um building you're not going to see much uh there let me just bring that up a little bit more so we got um <laughs> will be a lot of me talking to myself holly holly Stubborn dog. There'll be a load more barking in a minute when uh, Angela gets back from the shop. Uh, there she is. <laughs> oh, what have I lost there? Uh, I've lost the pack camera, damn it. Right, I've lost the camera. Let's try and get it back.
Oh. Don't put that there. I've got a camera going. Well, where am I supposed to put it? I'll put it down there. Um, why will this? I don't know why the camera's packed up. Camera has packed up. I don't know whether the. Yeah. Try that. What the hell is wrong with this all of a sudden? No, don't want that one. That's a dreadful one. Want that one? There we go. There we go, right. Oh, so. Yeah, camera's working now. I mean, did you want to did you want to come in on this, Gordon? You can if you want. It's fine with me. You have to let me know if you do. I'll uh, send you the link. Yeah, Gordon's watching. It's not a live show. I'm just building. But I'm doing. I am doing it live. No, you don't have to because it's not. It's not a live show that you know everyone's got to be bloody quiet and that. I did say in the description there'll be loads of disruptions. It's just building. If you know. Right, so I managed to fix the. Um, I don't know if you remember, Gordon, uh, the uh, what's it called? The differential gearbox in the middle was wonky on this because of um, earlier muck up. I put two parts on the wrong way around because it wasn't clear on the instructions. And the axles were all wonky quite badly, um, and I have repaired those now. I put in two brand new, um, well, not brand new, I, I made scratch built two struts, uh, which are just you can see them white there at the moment, and straightened the axles out. Um, so that's a bit better. Plastic spoons. Oh, yeah, I forgot about those. Yes, these are for my a new thing I'm testing. Um, I've seen it on uh, Createx. They do this thing called Murdered Candy. Um, and they do it with their um, Hot Rod Sparkle sets. I'm going to try and do it, but with um, regular paints that everybody's got, see whether I can get a similar effect. Vinyl gloves. They're only right. a pound. Oh. All right. Eight. Is that... Yeah, there's only eight in them. I don't know how good they are. Yeah, they're them there. Yeah, they're Sunday, they'll come in handy, but yeah, they're them. What you've got to look for, for the resin ones, you've got to look for ones that say nitrile on them. Um, so, they're my spoons for testing. I never thought I'd ever do it. Use the spoons. Always took, always took the Mickey out of people using spoons, just for a laugh. Like, 
but um, now I'm joining them. <laughs> right, so we've got the front there. And I don't know until I have a look at it. And let's have a look how this is going to fit on. All right, huh? Uh, right. Just bring it up a bit because I'm going to have to have a very close look at this now to find the hole. So. Let's put the head torch on. So on this side, we are looking for that's going to go on. Right. There. And I've not, there's a piece I've not put on there. That's because it never said that you had to put two on. That's so annoying. Let me just check back there. Right at the beginning. On um, this section here. Just make sure I'm right. Um, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to tell you to put A72, A72, they tell you goes on there. And they don't say anything about putting it on the other side too, um, which I don't remember seeing two A72s together, so they must be separate. All right, I see. Right, I see. It was up there. I missed it. I thought the two were the same. So, looking for a seven two. It's interesting. There we go. Put that there. Right now, then, let me.
Oh, Gordon said hi, Angela. Hi, Gordon. He's not there now, I don't think. Oh. Unless he's. Um, oh, what So, no, there we go. You make sure you write a list so I can add it to the program. Where did that go? There we go. Oh, come on. <sighs> I have to be very careful with this. I don't believe it, it's just dropped on the floor. Unbelievable, it really is unbelievable. It's got to be here somewhere. Fortunately, I am unable to. Oh, hell. Oh, I'm still here. I'm just looking for. Probably if I know where that's gone. No. Oh, no. We're not getting off to a very good start here. Right, I think I might have found it. <laughs> Just can't reach it. <laughs> is, is it? No, not it. <laughs> I thought it was it. I could have sworn it was it. Oh, come on. Oh, hell's bells. Is that it? Right, I'm just going to, uh, yeah, I'm just going to mute this a minute because I'm about to swear very loudly.
Right, I found it. And I did indeed swear very loudly. Sure, the neighbours wonder what goes on sometimes. Right. Swear if I drop this again, I'm going to stop recording. Right. Right, that goes. Um, I've got to make sure I get this the right way around now. It goes that way. Is that? Yeah. Oh, hold on a minute. Yeah. All right. Okay. Right. Now we've got to get a dab of glue on there before it falls off. Let's see. Let me see. There we go. Right. That's that piece on there. Just that just needs to be pushed forward a little bit. There we go. That'll do. Right now then. Now then, this is let's just tidy this up a little bit. I think I've already done these. Looking at that, or I started them. There we go. So my eyes are so bad. There we go. Nice and clean. Ready to go and so we want one on there. And then we're bringing it back to if we just get that get a dab of glue on that. I have just invested in some new tweezers because all mine are knackered at the end. Do it. This is just a, a like a no, a normal build thing, but one thing I will say: if you paint small pieces prior to um, assembling them, when they've got holes or little pegs on. Just put either a tiny dab of masking fluid or something over the little peg because if you paint them, then nine times out of ten they no longer fit in the uh, the hole. And if you painted the hole and the little um, nib, then you've got virtually no chance of it glowing, and that's when. Um, the the glue sort of melts all the paint that's in the hole and on the, the piece and you don't get a very good join which fails later on Oops. 
Şimdi and giving this a clean. Yeah, Mark one carpet monster now. I shouldn't have really said that now. I'm gonna go drop everything and I'll never re never recover. Um right. So we come down to this one. And we on that one on there. Oh Right. Um. Again. Blue. <laughs> there we go. No, no, you can't hear it that much. Um, your dad's room? Yeah. Is that going in the basket or not? Oh, man, it's a shaking. Um, yeah, yeah, it's going, it's all going in the basket. If it will fit. I mean, if it won't fit, then use that thing we got. No, we need that for somebody else, I just realised. Let me just double check something here a minute. Yeah, I got it right. I got it right. That's okay. Um, that's it. Right. There we go. this for spraying in a minute because uh, that is this uh, virtually this bottom half assembled um, let me just turn that around so I've got it orientated right way that's there and then we're looking at that's on there. Okay. And we see that. And hold this and do this at the same time. It's going to be a bit of a miracle. Not wrong there. A bit too much glue there. Yeah. <laughs> 
enough to do both. Right, there we go. So, with that done, we're now looking at, actually, I don't know why I've got these on separately. These can come off because now they're all, everything's going to get sprayed. Tires are separate for a reason. I haven't put them on. They're supposed to go on. Um, but my thinking is um, I've spent a bit of time on the tires. Let me just show you so with them together so you get a better idea. Um, I sort of scuffed up the treads on them. Um, and they've got that look like a real tire on this on the side it's not you know got any varnish or anything on because they're rubber um so i want to leave them like that i want them to look that, that looks more natural like that than it would if i then sprayed various uh stuff on them so i'm thinking they're probably going to go on very last um because as far as I'm concerned, they're done. So I'm just checking through. I think I am safe to glue these wheels on. Their various sections. Yeah, right. So the first thing I've noticed, let me just get my little round... Um, as before, I mentioned, and um, you know, no, don't put two painted things together with glue, just messy. And you'll see that these have all been sprayed. So, uh, the first thing I'm going to do is remove not too much because I want, don't want them to be too sloppy when I glue them on, and that will just ensure. This file will make sure that the things stay round. Don't end up with any square. Trying to put a square peg in a round hole situation. Yeah, that'll do. There's still a little bit of paint on some of them, but there is. It's not hobby. It's car automotive car pri black primer um, that I used. Um, then changed my mind halfway through because I decided to go. I want to go a different way, so I've left it a long time before I spray over it. That's good. Let me just check, double check. These have got to be glued on, haven't they? Not left to. Uh, I don't know because they. Mm, just wondering there if they fall off too easily, then sometimes you know it's easier if you can keep them, not glue them on, and then you can just take them off and keep them separately in some foam or whatever for transporting this if you were doing models for shows i guess just my idea um i want to use a thicker glue for the wheels so i'm gonna use tamiya white or contactor maybe 
What have I got? This is a bit thicker than I think it's a lot stronger. Can you see that? Not that one. Now, what's going on with that one yet? Yeah. Pop these um, back in there because they have ways coming handy. And the thing to remember is um, Andrew has actually trodden on one of these and it's gone through a foot. So have to make sure these go away. Right. That one. Yes, Gordon, they are indeed the wheel hubs. And I've just noticed I started to clean one of these off. So, yes, there's a tiny seam line, which I've missed. Well, I haven't missed because I'm doing it now, but I nearly missed it. Oh. That one's done. This one is, yeah, that's, yeah, that's done. That doesn't need doing. Um, not too bad. And it's okay, right, so. Yes, they're starting to stick nicely. Now then, I'm not sure really. I've got to make a quick decision on this. On the picture, it shows all of these locking nuts, I guess. It shows them all in the same orientation. So they're all facing upwards at that 12 o'clock position. Um, surely they would just be completely random unless they go on a specific way that I'm not aware of in the instructions it also shows them all going um, with facing that 12 o'clock position um, I can't help but think it would be completely random Um, right for neatness, we'll all go the same way.
Um, well, I will double check everything, Gordon, before I do it. Um, I'm not just going to build everything on top and, and not try them. Um, that would be stupid. I will. Uh, I don't think there's a lip. I had a look. Uh, I've already been and had a look through. And there's quite a bit of clearance between the top of the tyre. And everything around it. As I recall. <laughs> so. I think I'll be okay. I'm missing a wheel though. Yeah, and I've got plenty of clearance between the two tyres themselves, so where's my wheel gone? My wheel missing. Gee, I think I'm two wheels missing. Ah, there's one. That's the important one. And there's another one there. The tyres are an easy fit as well, Gordon, in case you run about that. They, they really do go on the hubs quite easily. There's no... Nothing but nothing else is taking this. Excellent. Got it all in. Afternoon spas happening. Slam on the top. Yeah. That is what's in there. Yeah. All right. Okay. What? That's in there. The books are in there, and you have one in there. Okay. All right. Just not possible. Hang on, James. James, 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 So, next, I am going to move this screen over to the big screen, not that one, there we go, that's a bit better. All right, so. Next, it's just a bit of a clean up. Um, close look round for seam lines, any sort of um, damage, uh, like you know, like fingerprints that have been etched in from the glue. Um, that's what I use this fiberglass brush for there's a fingerprint there and I just go over it like that and it just helps remove those fingerprint There we go, that's good, that's okay. Let's get rid of any marks on the...
There it looks a bit rough. Got a seam line running along the bottom there. Might need the scraper on that actually, it's a bit. And then just very lightly remove that. Not really, I don't think that's in the seam line actually, that's the join. Let me take it to join, but we can just scrape over because there's a difference in height there, I can see it. There we go. Right. Horrible pin mark there as well. Might go in with a brush on that one. La, la, da, da. Da, 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 da. Right. Everything's glued on. Nice and tight. No sloppy joins anywhere. I don't think, no. No, we're all good. Excellent. Right. So the final piece for this bottom now is, um, let me just double check I haven't missed anything here, is going to be to spray it. Yeah, because we're moving on to the cab next. Yes. And... Uh, I'm going to spray it with Steinol Res because it's a nice flat black. So we are going to move over to the spray booth. Um, I'm going to move the camera and hopefully the picture won't get lost. But if it does, I'll have to get it back. Not exactly sure how we're going to I'm not sure how we're going to do this. That would be good there if it would hold. But it's a bit sloppy. We'll try there. Blue tack on, maybe. Yeah, uh, right. We'll try it with a bit of blue tack. We'll move it more to the middle. Let's turn the light on. Oh, 
So we'll try about here. It's not a very good fit. I don't think that. We're gonna try. <laughs> we're gonna try that. Where are we? Yeah, there we are. Right. Bear with me. Just put the pipe out the window. Okay. Let me get my. Don't worry. Ah, oh, hello, Jean. Is it Jean Marc? Jean Marc? Jean Marc Galsy or Galsy? Holly, excuse the dog. Holly, be quiet. Although it's going to be irrelevant in a minute because the. Now, I don't really want to get too much on the engine. I'm not bothered if I get a bit of spray on there because it will just add to the effect I'm going for later. Um, let me just put the, the glove on. Glove on there. Right, now I can't see the questions or the chat while I'm doing this, um, so you'll just have to bear with me until I get back over there. Let me just move these. Yeah. There's some Xbox controllers that I was been working on. There we go. I think that'll be enough for what I want. Let that overlap a bit. They'll be alright there. They're not um, going to be too much. So, here we go. Where's the turn? Oh.
Unmute. Apparently the mic went off. I don't know when. So let's put the blue away. One of the wheels didn't look very secure, so I might need to re-glue that at some point. All in all, I think it was rather successful. Um, rather successful day, morning, afternoon, whatever. So we've got, um, let's try and get this. Really, I hate it when it's messy like this. Just give me a second while I... They belong to. Do they belong to that? I don't think that's right. But just pop them there. Innit? Let's get rid of the batteries. They are knackered. Um, that's what goes on there. Brush covers no good. So we're missing a pair of tweezers. A new pair, that's it. And there we go. They're the old ones, these are the new ones. Missing there it is. So our next task is building the cab up, but um, I've got some uh, new uh, of them LP paints. Uh, I've never had used them before at all, so this is my that will be this will be my first time when I finally use them. But um, they're the same bottles that you get. Less in those, only 10 mils instead of 14. I think there's 14 in the acrylics. And I notice if you buy them direct from Japan, China, whatever, they come in a square bottle. I don't know. Allow me to correct myself. I've just remembered some, somebody told me these are enamel. I sent off for what I thought was going to be these. And they sent me that. Um, I didn't question it because... Um, I've never used them before, so I just thought it was a change of bottle, but it does sound the front enamel. Um, that may be a problem when I try to do my paint job with my spoons that I was planning. Um, wait and see. But uh, I might do that live as well. Yeah, I might do that live. Might be interesting just to see how it turns out. All right, did it go off at one o'clock? The, the mic, uh, Gordon said at 12.59, can't hear you. Damn, we were off that long. 15 minutes, no audio. Not good. Not good at all. all right. Apologies, but I am I'm just trying to keep everything tidy. Mm. 
Um, just on a side note, my daughter bought me this for my birth. It's my birthday yesterday. Not yesterday, Sunday. And my daughter got me this wallet. And on it, it's got... Um, it's a leather wallet, uh, like a calfskin leather, I think, because it's very, very soft. Um, and then on the back... Very nice. The irony of giving somebody a wallet who's not got any money. <laughs> but I love it. I do love it. Right, they're my insulin pens. I'll keep them nearby, but uh, don't need them in, in sight. So, um, right. There we go. That's the the well, the chassis, I guess, is done. Um, the cab is next. Uh, Obviously, I've got some weathering that needs doing onto this because it's not going to look brand new. We're going for a, you know, a worn look. We're not going for a completely, you know, clarted with mud. Uh, we're going for uh, something that's been used every day for 10 years. Um, so a lot of it is rusty um, and so forth. So that, that is the plan going forward. Um, so I'm actually going to leave that to dry for maybe a couple of days. I know it's just primer, um, and the Badger primer is excellent. Uh, it dries so quick, but I just want to, you know, I just want to make sure because I have put it over the top of, uh, a primer that is, I'm unfamiliar with the two together, um, It seems to have gone on okay, but we'll wait and see. In the coming hours, it all will be revealed. I'm quite pleased how that turned out because it was really bad at one point. Uh, the the drive shaft was all wrong and and uh... right. So that's uh, I need somewhere to put that. Let's be safe. Um... Normally, I'll, pick, I'll put if I put that over there, it should be okay. Just there, and leave it to dry. Right, put the wheels in the in this cup here. They will weigh down that camera. Oh, it's a bit too. Maybe not. <laughs> There's too many of them. It's not going to work. Got to take two out. Right. Is that other wheel I was on about? I knew there was. And they, as I was saying earlier, they literally just pop on. No problem at all. Pop on. Keep it in there. All right. Uh, what time have we got? I don't know what's going on here. That's completely wrong. Let's change that watch face for something that's telling the correct time.
half one right what do we got here so step 54 we're looking at uh, we need rack b I do like the way men have done this. So basically everything on there is more, everything on this is more or less sprue A. Um, as you'll see in a minute, all I used was sprue A. If you can see that. Yeah. And that's your chassis. So there's a couple of tiny little bits left on there, but I don't think I'm going to need them. So I'm confident in putting that at the bottom. Um, the only other one I used was D. I took a couple of pieces off of D. So I'm really happy how they've done that. Now it looks like we're going to be using sprue B for the cab. And again, some D sections. So we'll keep D out because that's, uh, I think that's, you know, it's almost like that's the odds and ends one. Um, it's almost like they've done all the sprues and then they've got all these little bits left over and they thought, oh no, we'll put them on a separate sprue of their own that goes alongside the build all the way through. I don't know. Maybe that's what I'm thinking. Now, this looks like it could be sprue B, but it's not. It's C. Okay. Um, that's the rear section, so that's not... It's G. It's got to be this one, then. There is no other one left. B. There we go. And some it just fell on the floor. There we go. Don't know what that piece is off. Right. Right, so B2, B2, B18, B14, and B20. B2, B18, B14. Let me find the beginning. That's two, got to be. I remember when I first saw this kit, oh, it's a beautiful looking kit. I was so much, wanted something other than planes and sort of jets and aircraft and um, tanks. I, I just really need, and I need to have, as a builder, I need to have other things that I can concentrate on rather than the stock stuff that everybody does because I quickly become bored with it sometimes. So I like doing these different projects. I think they're great. And they add much more interest, so it splits things up for me. Uh, that's 18. We need that. Yeah, B18 and B14. I, mean, I tend to waffle. B14 is going to be, uh, it's there, isn't it? Yeah, and then we want B20 then, which is going to be that one there, I'm sure of it, yes. Let's 
just where the steering wheel is going to go and the seat and that. Right, now I've got a feeling all of these are going to be that olive colour. Now, I have ordered two different colours for the cab. I've ordered olive drab and olive drab two, I believe. There is a difference. I don't know whether you're going to pick it up, but let's have a go. I'll bring that camera in just a little bit. It's very subtle, very slight, which is what I want. But um, can I get more light on it? One slightly darker than the other. Um, and they're going to be for doing my shadows and detail and stuff like that. Um, now I'm just going to double check what the inside colour is down as. And they've got it down as flat black. So, um, assembled, um, be here, and then flat black with semi gloss black, things like the gear stick. Right, interesting. A for the dashboard, which is olive green, right? <coughs> Dashboard's olive green. Excuse me. I just need to check something back in a second. It's strange. We have cars just pull up outside the front of the house and they just sit there for like 10 minutes. Nobody gets out and then they just drive off. We've got another one there now. And it just annoys the hell out of the dog, which annoys the hell out of everyone else. Right, let's just clean the nibs off some of these now. Oh, I forgot to put the... Uh... I must have caught that. Still needs a bit of a gonna need a knife on that new blade on um, this morning, so it's very sharp. It slices through that excellent. There we go. This one. Yep, that's gone as well. Now we on these. 
These make all the difference, I think. I think a lot of people, when they have fit problems, you know, it's because they don't clean these off properly. Not all the time, but I think some of the time, you know, because you're adding, I don't know, say, say, over the course of two pieces, you add a millimetre to the dimensions. It's, everything's going to be a millimetre out then. Because you are, in fact, creating gaps for yourself that will need filling. So it's easier just to do that, what I've done there, than it would be to fill it and sand it afterwards. And they're there, you know. I don't think I've ever really had the. Um, I guess when when nippers are brand new, that's about the only time I've ever got a cut so completely flat and flush. All right, let's have a look how this goes together. So. Oh, well, if it don't fit, it's not from the box. well, I was said to put it in that thing, but we might be using that for something else, yeah. mightn't we? Yeah. 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 Right, so, let's get these on first. That's like that. It's that one. Are they saying that goes on like that? Or are they saying that goes on like that? I think they're saying it goes on like that. Yes. Yes, they are. Right, excellent. Now then. Obviously try and keep the glue underneath out of the way. If you can. Sorry, you're not going to see this because it's the, the angle. It's... Oh. Might have put a bit too much glue on there. There we go. Okay. And then we've got the same thing going on the other side. Now, I'm going to try and hold this in such a way that you can see what I'm doing. Ollie, 
take no the van him in the car and as she starts walking towards the house with an axe and then you can go out and then you can go out and play with him <laughs> Ollie's not a friendly dog. She's only little, but she's uh, she's not friendly. All the postmen and that think we've got this massive dog. So when they try to put anything through the door, she goes launching at the door full pelt and the whole thing rattles in its frame. Right, so them two are on, and I've got uh, this piece to come on, which is going to, by the looks of it, sit on there. Yeah, so we've got her in there. I'll get it. Oh. I never can never work out how much pressure to put. Right. Oh, damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Right, I might have to add a bit more glue to that. Yeah, I think I am. I would probably be better off letting that dry properly before I add this next bit. Probably just going a bit too fast now for so we'll leave that bit there. Um, what have we got next? Anything we can do while we're waiting? Ah, so we do have a seat, a seat mechanism we can put together. Excellent. Um, so B again. So we're looking for B seven. B8. B7, B8, B15. I can see which ones they are already. 7, 8. And 15. 19 is going to be there, I think, as well, yeah. B7. B8. And then there's D again. D21, D22. Twenty-one and twenty-two. There they are. Well, I've never actually had a seat go together like this on a car before. They normally come sort of just two flat pieces. Twenty-one. Twenty two, and then we want the same twenty one and twenty two for the twenty 
21 and 22. So I'll keep that 21 and 22 because I don't think there's any difference, but just in case I'll keep that. Them ones with them seats and these ones with these seats. So 21 and 22. First things first, let's have a look what needs cleaning up. You know what? I'd be better off that way. In fact, if the camera goes off, I'll have to put it back on, but bear with me, please. There we go. It would be better off. Maybe like that. I think that's better. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, nearly snapped it. Very delicate. Tell you what, they're nice clean parts. I haven't come across any flash yet. Superb. Right. That's going to be the seat, I think. No, this is going to be the seat. And. Right. Now I think. These are one of those parts that you've got to be very careful with. It's going to be extremely easy to um, damage these. Um, do they go on the outside, I believe? They are also a different colour. Um, yeah, I think you're going to have to hand paint these. Struggling here to keep the pieces to it. Right. I've got a little bead of glue in there now just to
Right, these are going to be very, very, very awkward. Um, right, I think because they are going to be like that uh, this is another piece I need to let the glue go off quite a bit uh, looks as though it's not going to go on that way or that way no, it's going to go on that way yeah Yeah, I see. Yeah, and the seats go up behind there. I get it. So it goes on like that. But it's actually holding the damn thing together. It doesn't want to stay together. <laughs> well, that, that bottom base has to be um, stuck down well before you try and manipulate this back piece has to go over, if it will focus, has to go over the uh, back corner. There you can see there's a slot for it. But the minute, even holding that, the minute you try and push that over, it, it pops, starts popping out here. Um, so... I need that to be really solid at the bottom. And it goes further back. Just seeing a little step on the front there that I missed. There we go. That's better. Yeah, I missed a tiny little cut out at the front.
Okay, next group. Okay, next group. Leave it alone, Mark. You're going to end up breaking some of it. Just let it do its thing. Stop touching it. Oh, you're not going to learn. I'm not going to learn. <laughs> Oh dear. Right, um, it's time. Right, now that's that's in a better position now to put this on. Except we've got a little nib there that I missed. That needs sorting out. With a little bit of glue down that. Just apply a gentle bit of pressure. Sorry about the dog. Holly! Stop it! Right, so there's the front of the cab starting to take shape. Cool. Um, our front seats get in there. Um, I'm going to leave it at that for today. Um, yeah, I'm going to leave it at that. I'm going to work out my paints for my spoons and watch the video of the guy doing the murdered candy again. Um, and uh, should have put a link in, really, to that guy. Uh, Createx that do it. Um, but uh, it's well worth watching. It's interesting. And an interesting technique uh, that, I, that I'm going to try and replicate. Um, so, basically, it's... Um, so, it's going to be uh, a gloss black base. I'm going to use gold uh, then... Then I'm going to go over the top with um, the top of that with a clear red, um, quite a few layers so it's build up. And then I'm going to go over the top of that with smoke, um, very lightly, uh, multiple layers. And what I'm going, what I'm looking for is so that it looks black. But when you shine a light on it, you can see the red underneath. That's what I'm trying to replicate. Uh, 
on the, the guide and on, on it's on YouTube, but uh, if I can find it, I'll, I'll try and get it in the link. Um, so, uh, yeah, with that, I'm going to go and uh, I'll catch uh, whoever watches this later on. Uh, leave your comments um, below. Don't forget, um, we do have a sprue cast on a Sunday. Uh, Honest, I'm not sure how much longer that's going to be viable or, or what at the moment. I really don't know what's going on with that. Um, but uh, whatever. Uh, see you all later. Bye for now.